Over the past week, I have been testing how waterproof my new gardening DIY project is. And it's doing really well. I'm impressed. So I'm confident this is going to work for the long term, which is why I'm sharing it with you today. And what this is, is a reusable exterior garden marker and you put it in the garden, you use it to label your plants and it's big enough so that you can put what type of plant it is and also the variety or cultivar. And then when you're finished using it, you can remove the text. So you can clean that text off and it's working out pretty easily. And then you can store these away or reuse them for another plant. And also, this is really an inexpensive project to make and I think it looks really good too. Before we get to the project, I want to give you a little bit of background information on how I came up with this idea and why it's so much more inexpensive than something you can purchase. I was flipping through a seed catalog over the winter and I came across these really lovely small black plant labels and you're able to write on them with a grease marker and then you can clean off the text with a bit of white spirit, so paint thinner. They were lovely, I love the look of them, but the price, way too expensive. And I have loads of white plant markers right now, and those are very easy to clean off. Even if you use a black Sharpie, you can clean it off with a bit of nail varnish remover. Also, the thing that I really needed are big plant labels. I've been using those small white ones in the allotment and the home garden and there are just so many out there and they get lost and they get weathered over the year. So what I really wanted was a larger plant label that I can put outside and use for veg. They had those two in the seed catalog, but again, the price, just crazy. And though I can justify spending some money on gardening projects and uh, garden products, and of course plants and seeds and all of that, this is just something that I thought maybe I could come up with my own idea for. Being resourceful with what you have is really important with having a vegetable garden, especially if you want to save money. And so Josh just one day out of the blue sent me a message on uh, WhatsApp and asked me, could I do anything with these wooden stakes that he had at work? And they were just some spare wood that were used to separate flooring that he was using for a project. And I said, yes. And I didn't know what I would do with them initially, but he brought them home and plant labels it is. I have some nice clean wood that was free to begin with this project, but you could honestly use any bits of wood that you have lying around your allotment garden, the veg patch or elsewhere. The wood that I'm using is pretty rough though, and it's also quite a bit longer than I need. And so what I have done is cut the wood up into three pieces. So each one of these sections gets me three pieces or three markers. And I use my steel GTA 26 to cut these. And that's the same tool that you saw me use in the DIY palette planter that I made last year. But you could use a handsaw, you could use a jigsaw, whatever, to cut your wood down. So what I have are these lengths that I've cut down and you can see that I didn't even measure them because I've got two that are similar in size and one that's a bit longer. But they're all very rough. It's really rough wood. And for the chalkboard paint to work and for you to be able to remove the text afterwards, it's important that the surface is really smooth. And I've actually smoothed the side of one of these with just some sandpaper. And I have sandpaper here on a block of wood this is very, very simple to do. You could have a sander as well. The important thing is, is that you put a really nice surface 
into this wood. And the chalk paint itself is quite thin. It's not going to fill up all the cracks and crevices in the wood, so don't expect it to do that. Just make sure that you have a smooth surface before you go to the next step. Chalkboard paint is what you will need to make these plant markers. And it's different from chalk paint that you might have seen in DIY projects for repainting furniture, wood furniture. This is the type of paint that turns objects that are wood or metal or glass into a chalkboard. And you can get it in black, and I've also seen it in clear, which is very interesting because you could actually make plant markers that have that same wood effect, and you could use maybe a black chalk marker in the end for your text. That could be interesting. But I like the black look. And so I have the ordinary bog standard chalkboard paint, and this was three pounds, so really inexpensive. And this is enough paint for me to probably do 20, 30, maybe more plant markers, you don't need much. I also have a paintbrush. And this paintbrush, you might actually recognize if you pick up my book. It's the one that was used to make the lanterns in the last chapter. And uh, I'm all about reusing and making sure that everything gets used Everything from my book is actually going to be reused again for other projects, so I'm, I'm sure that you'll see things pop up again. So I've got a really smooth surface here, and all I'm gonna do, shake this chalkboard paint up because it does separate a little bit, and I'm gonna squirt a bit on, and then just paint it on. I don't even, I'm not even sure that this section even needs any explanation. You just paint it on. <laughs> and then after you have a thin layer of paint, don't glop it on. You need to leave it to dry for an hour and then it needs a second layer as well. And you can paint just one side, the side that you plan on writing on, or you could paint the entire thing. And I kind of like the entire look of the black plant marker. So I'm going to eventually paint all sides of this. There are full instructions on how to use chalkboard paint on the back of the bottle or tin that you'll be using. But after you put two coats of paint onto your surface, you have to let it cure for a full day. So just leave it to dry and leave it alone. And then the next step, I'm not completely sure is necessary for if you're gonna be using these outside. This chalkboard paint is actually not supposed to be used outside, but I found someone online who has been using it for their outdoor playroom chalkboard for three years and she's had no problem. So that's why I'm using this idea and I'm going ahead with it without the full summer of experimentation. So I'm not completely sure if we need this next step, the chalk, but I'm gonna do it anyway. And the instructions are that you basically just rub the surface with ordinary white chalk and this is to condition it and it gives it that final chalkboard type finish so it's not going to be pure black it's kind of like the blackboards that you might remember from school a long long time ago so i've just rubbed the surface that i'll be writing on with chalk and i'm just using a paper towel to rub it off and most of it does come off. And I wonder actually if having the chalk on the surface here is important for getting the chalk paint off afterwards, so the chalk marker. So we're gonna continue doing it just in case. If you try doing this project and you don't do this step, let me know how it goes for you. Ooh, that's a really smooth and nice finish. And at this point, what I can do is write on it now and put it out into the garden. And then after that, I can erase it, recondition it with a bit of chalk, use it again and again and again. And I have tested this with some very torrential rain that we've had over the past week. I've also sprayed the text with a hose and it holds up but it is really easy to clean and water doesn't do it. A wet rag will not take it off very well. What you'll need is either an ammonia-based 
cleaner. So a lot of products that you might have in the kitchen. So kitchen spray will have ammonia in it. It's diluted ammonia or the magic erasers. And there's some major brands and there's also some generic brands and the magic eraser is really good. It was, it's probably the best thing for taking the marker off almost too good because it can take some of the paint off as well. So be very careful when you're using it to remove the paint. The marker that I've used to write out the labels is a chalk marker and you can get these in various colors. This one is water resistant, although I have seen that there are some waterproof varieties out there as well. Now these are the same types of markers that cafes will use to write their specials of the day up on their blackboard. They're relatively easy to find. And this one, it doesn't have the price on it, but this one was four pounds, which isn't that much, especially since I'm gonna get so much use out of it. And I've simply just written my labels and these can go direct out in the garden. So easy peasy. And the idea is that they look nice, they're big, they're bold, I can see exactly what types of plants are in that area. And best of all, I can reuse these again and again. I love how these look. I love how inexpensive and easy they are to make. And I love that I'm also using a free material. Now, this is a project that is very much experimental and it might be that it's a little bit difficult to remove the text after an entire summer in the garden. So I will do an update and in the meantime you will see these peppered throughout the allotment garden and hopefully the new home garden as well. If you try this project out let me know what you think as a comment down below. Let me know what you think of the project in general as a comment and I will see you next time here on Lovely Greens. Bye for now. One last thing before you go, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe to Lovely Greens and click that little bell icon so that you get notifications for when new videos are out.